So we're here at this small ADU doing punch, <coughs> not punch, pre-fill right now. Lamar's doing pre-fill. Me and TJ are about to mix. We're doing the all-purpose sheetrock USG. And pretty much just straight out of the box. You want it to be fairly creamy. Kind of like a thick peanut butter. Creamy peanut butter, not super thick. Especially not chunky peanut butter. <laughs> you got you need, this bad one needs to be smooth. And then that's our preferred drill. So this type of job right here, it's nice and small. It's only about, uh, I wanna say maybe a total of uh, 60 sheets. This is where this pump truly shines because I'm gonna be using it for the gun. And then all I gotta do is switch this lever and mud comes out of the other end. So I don't have to do anything. Easy clean up, easy wash. So we're gonna go ahead and start. Gonna be using the Predator, since this is nine foot ceilings. So it's nice and easy. <clears throat> Today's video is gonna be about flushers, different flushers that you could use. Me personally, I grew up on a glazer. So transitioning to flushers, the different types that I brought today was a little irritating at first. Um, this one I got to coat, um, with the angle box, but shoot, I, I tried it the other day and it was horrible. This hole is too small. Even with the throttle box, I would need to water down my mud a lot for it to be able to come out consistent. So yeah, I didn't like it for that. So hopefully I like it as a flusher because if not, then I spent 300 bucks on a AccuJust uh paperweight but uh yeah this one i personally like the guys hate because they rather rolling glaze but when i'm by myself this is a two-in-one tool i'll sample it today in the video in case you haven't this kit is from can-am it's a painter's kit i think they did a great a great um great time uh labeling it because uh, you can't be using this kind of stuff if you're doing drywall day in and day out, hardcore, all plastic. So this is perfect for DIY or guys that do their own drywall, small renovations. Uh, this is, so it, it's, it's targeted as the cheapest option. So, um, actually what I, what made me purchase it is the ability that you can take this off, put it on any random pole with a thread this comes off you can do closets this can go back on and they have a uh, another adapter so this you can put the roller on and that way you uh, essentially just use one pole for your two heads but if you're trying to do anything production based you need a dedicated pole for roller, for glazer, that way you're not wasting time taking stuff on and off. But if it's small enough and you're by yourself to minimize on the cleanup, that's perfect. So let's go ahead and sample these. Uh, this is Omar's donut. So I have good angles here. We're all gonna sample the different flushes that I showed you guys in earlier, earlier in this video. TJ's on the camera. Oman, also known as Baca. I'm translating the cow. Been a huge help. And TJ. Alright, 
So we got the regular Columbia flusher here with the little wheels to help. The Can-Am plastic and then this Accu adjuster. Well, Marvin has not tried any of these, so he's going to give you his uh, honest opinion of what he thinks about flushers and how they how they're different than glazers. So he's only used glazers, so he's going to sample it right now and see how it goes. So, this is arriba, abajo, top bottom. So you would want uh you would want a longer pole this one that he has. I'll take care of the rest. Can you see the mount? Yeah. Don't get stuck. 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 Yeah. Can you see the mount? Yeah. Alright, DJ. This one you have to apply a little bit more pressure. And. I guess if you if you're not since it, the, the stick is so light and the head is so light, you need to kind of get used to that, that pressure that needs to be applied. All right. The only thing I'm noticing different is when I go down. Since uh, there's no real weight to the head, it's causing a little bit more chatter. So you have to go down with it. But you see that chatter? Come see it flipping. That bit of friction at the end. You have to, let's see, go right here. Normally I, I just go like this, straight, straight down. But there's a lot of skipping, so this one you're gonna have to go down with it. Oh. When you get a paper a paper tape jam in there, that means it's not going in smoothly. What you want to do is you want to pull this down, pull out your blade, and then I bought this years ago. Still comes in super handy. Uh, if you don't have something that fits right here, like this dedicated knife, like a piece of strap. But anyways, you just want to go in there and push out anything that might be jammed in there. And keep this clean, in case you need it again. Put the knife, the blade back where it belongs. When you feed the tape, make sure you have a nice, dry, crisp. Because if it's soggy, it's going to be harder to feed it in straight. And then you're gonna struggle and it should go right through so this is the culprit this little piece of tape will ruin your day if you don't have anything to clean it out but there, there we go good to go brand new okay so now we're gonna be trying the Can-Am AccuJust pretty much it's in the name it adjusts to the angle. So, how you set that up, find the angle that you're going to be working on, you kind of just press into it until you're, you're nice and flush. Okay? And then you could also dial this in a little, I guess, right here. This is the top. So when you glaze, you pull down and then up, yeah. Oh, stuff. <laughs> Shining butter over here. <laughs> Oh! 
That's the double I told you guys about earlier. So this isn't the uh, this TJ spot because he forgot the <laughs> double table there. You got an Aki just. <laughs> oh yeah. Here, let me see. Just this bad boy, see what happens. No? Okay, so. doesn't have the spring yet. The plastic is generic, just plastic, but that's what makes it a lot easier. Yeah. Oh, let's see. So the, the camera's gonna be kind of nuts on this one, but we're trying guys. Okay. Okay, TJ, let me see. Gonna be using the Columbia. Oh, shock, you guys buried. The Columbia, what size is this? Columbia 2, 2.5 I think. Okay. Okay, let, uh, let, let Omar try now. A ver, Omar. This is with the Columbia. Uh, the only 
thing that's different with the flusher that the guys are saying is that you need to create a lot more pressure. So here you need it to push even harder. The tricky thing with that is a lot of the houses we do aren't the best of framing, so it's not super square. So as we put a lot of pressure, if we apply a lot of pressure, we can actually break the board or break the tape. So now we're gonna go ahead and use the glazer, which is what we always use. Let's see how that goes. So you can see, this went right through. And you got nice, nice and clean. 